Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel Card Tricks and today we're going to talk about how to produce a silk out of a dollar bill. And of course, we're going to use the Magician's Assistant. We're going to use a TT. Now, uh, you probably already have one of these, right? Came in a magic kit and uh, you were probably taught how to make a silk vanish with this, right? And we kind of look at this as a vanishing device. But the cool thing about this, it has more than one purpose and you can also make a silk appear from a TT. And uh, I think it's even more uh, fun to make something appear out of nowhere uh, because it puts all the heat on this and this and no one's even looking for this. And so the setup is really simple. You just need a silk that is the right size that you can vanish. You need a dollar bill. You'll need your TT and of course, you'll need your thumb. And so the setup on this this is what you do in advance to get ready for the trick. Um, you're going to pretend uh, backstage like you're vanishing your silk. So do the same thing you would normally do. Put the thumb tip in your fist and start smushing this uh, silk inside. And then put it on your thumb. Now remember thumb tip etiquette. Thumb tip etiquette, right, is that when you hold your hands in display, you're going to aim your hands towards the spectator. So they can't see this, right? Or uh, you can move your hands. That kind of keeps the eyes moving. Or you're going to hide the thumb tip behind the other four fingers. Now, the great thing about this trick is you can also hide it behind the dollar bill, right? If you pinch the bill between your thumb and fingers, it kind of makes a natural uh, way to hide the thumb tip. So you can show the bill, turn it around, show both sides, because this is really what you're doing, right? You're showing the bill to the spectator. You want them to see there's nothing here. And then you can rock the bill up on the thumb tip and then begin to wrap the bill around the thumb tip, just like that, okay? And the cool thing is I can now aim the tube at the spectator and say, there's nothing inside there, right? You can't see anything in there. And they'll say, no. Well, they're looking at the thumb tip. They don't realize that, <laughs> you know, that's not even really your thumb. Now you're going to re-grip, hold the edge of the bill so it doesn't unfold, pull your thumb out casually, don't just jerk out, right? You want it to look like a normal, a normal uh, way of releasing. Show this hand completely empty, re-grip, show this hand completely empty, because again, you, you want them to know that there's nothing in your hands, okay? And you're going to make a magical gesture and reach inside and find just the edge of that silk and begin to bring something out. Now that alone right there, that's a shocker, right? That's a total shocker because it's red. The contrast here is, is incredible. Like where did that come from? And now I'm gonna gingerly start just unfolding the silk. I'm not gonna pull it out because that, then the drama and the tension is lost, right? I want this to come out slowly. I want them to feel like this is a huge object, even though it's not, it's really small. I want them to feel that there's a lot here and like, where did all of this come from, right? And so as I continue to pull the silk out, I'll put my thumb back inside, unroll the bill and lay everything down for examination. And now of course they can examine both objects and that's where their attention is going to go. They're going to want to see, you know, if there's a pocket in this bill or, you know, this, this silk is spring loaded or something, right? And again, as long as you're holding objects like this, like I'm holding the silk, but I still have the thumb tip on my finger, right? So I can hold this and the thumb tip is completely disguised, right? I can say, you know, you can inspect this if you'd like, or if you can inspect this bill, right? There's nothing on either side. As long as I'm doing that, right? The thumb tip is hidden. So it's a great way to appear like you're showing your hands empty, but, um, there's really a, a secret hidden device. So I hope that helps you. I hope that gives you another fun trick that you can do with your thumb tip. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. Uh, keep coming back every single week. I will always have a new trick for you to learn. Uh, if you uh, keep coming back to this channel, I'm gonna teach you tricks with a stripper deck, Svengali deck, a thumb tip, a regular deck of cards, pencils, paper clips, ordinary things you have lying around the house. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey, have you ever purchased a magic trick that they said was easy or for beginners 
and when you opened it up, it was just a bunch of parts and some typed out instructions. Like, how are you supposed to figure out how to do a trick with instructions that are this small and there's just no detail, right? No video, no pictures. You're so disappointed. You wanted to learn how to do this trick. You thought it'd be fun. And then when you got it in the mail, you were sorely disappointed. I want to help you. This channel wants to help you. I have a whole playlist of instructional videos that'll walk you through my personal handling on these tricks plus many more. Now, obviously, you need to own the tricks, right? You need to own the tricks in order to perform them. You won't be able to do any of these tricks unless you actually own them. But another great way to use this channel is as a way to look at tricks that are available on the market and to decide whether those tricks are going to work for you. I purchase all of my tricks from penguinmagic.com. And so if you'd like access to that playlist, if you would like to see kind of behind the scenes and get my personal handling for these tricks plus many more, you can hit the join button down below and subscribe to this channel for only 99 cents a month. And as long as you're a subscriber, you'll have access to those videos plus any new ones I continue to make. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week.